Hello and welcome back to Big Bad Bard Plays Enter the Gungeon. Uh, I believe the Marine was the last character I took out, so time for the pilot. Alright, um, of course we want the alternate starting gun. And, uh, oh, you know what? I believe this got completed. Hey, uh, we need how many? 20 gunsingers. Okay, that'll take a minute. Uh, you know what, though? I think I am going to take off rainbow mode. And watch, this is a, a run where I'm going to get a rainbow chest somehow. Just, you know, I could see that happening. But I did want to take off rainbow mode. Um, I've been doing it, you know, for a while now. And not that it's really getting stale, but it is, um... I don't know, I'm seeing a lot of the same items. Um getting just ridiculously strong combinations of stuff. You know, when you can look at it and be like, oh yeah, I can afford to take clone on the second floor because who cares if I die because I'm just gonna come back even stronger, you know? And you n you can almost guarantee that clone is going to show up on that rainbow run. Not, I mean, not guaranteed, but there's a really good chance it's going to pop up in one of those chests, especially if you go through all the secret floors. Like, that just gives you a really good chance at it. And then on top of that, if you're going through all the secret floors, you're probably going to fight the rat, which means that you even get more items out of that fight, um, including, potentially, clone. Okay, but I'm back in a non-rainbow chest m run, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Now, with the robot, I'd probably still recommend just doing rainbow runs. Pick up bullet modifiers, you know, platinum bullets, look for that, or fat bullets, something like that. And then just junk every chest. Don't even need guns, you just have the robot's right hand, you know. Just look for a run like that, but I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a regular run for a spin, see how that goes. Now, am I going to be able to afford the rat key? I don't know. It's really easy on a rainbow run because you're probably not buying anything unless you're maybe stockpiling guanstones and or blanks on the first couple of floors, which that's a totally viable method, especially if you get full metal jacket pretty early, which, again, it's something that's somewhat likely to show up on a rainbow run. Watch, this is going to be a rainbow chest because this game's hilarious. Okay, it's not. I could just see it happening, you know? It's a brown chest, I'm probably gonna lockpick it, and then they trick me. Alright, I guess I'm making my way over towards the shop. Still keeping an eye out for water barrels. Still need that. Okay. Just keeping an eye out for water barrels every room I go into. Doing a quick sweep, making sure I'm not going to break it. Because that is just a horrible feeling. It's like that just takes out two floors right there. Now, in any run, rainbow or not, two floors is a big deal. That's, you know, two items from bosses on top of whatever other items you would pick up on the floor. That's a lot to miss out on. Uh, gas mask is not that great. I would much rather have something like hazmat suit that get, gets uh, multiple immunities. There we go. I was going to say it gets rid of multiple status effects, but I'm like, that's not really... Oh, uh, that's not really accurate. Just gives you immunity to, you know, poison, fire, shock, all that stuff. Okay, uh, dead end on the first floor is usually a good signifier of the secret room. There's a water barrel I didn't even know existed. Oh, and it's right next to the room for which I'll need it. Perfect. Um, I do not want to go that way. <laughs> yeah, I want to stay right here in this corner. Let that gun nut shoot at me. If this barrel did get broken, not a huge deal. The other one's right on the other side of the store, but still. I would like to preserve it if possible. 
Okay, so that dead end didn't even lead to the oubliette room, which makes it even more suspicious for a secret room possibility. Now I may not find out until after the boss fight, apparently, because I have no guns. Oh boy. Oh uh, boy. First floor boss fight shouldn't be that bad with my starter, but I am the pilot. And Trigger Twins is a boss that I like to kind of keep a good distance from. Uh, and sometimes end up having to, or have to end up using a blank against even. Um, and if I'm looking for secret rooms, I would really love to preserve my blanks. I would also love to get a master around here. I don't know how possible that's gonna be. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, well, I guess I don't really need to pop a blank then if I don't have to. I already missed out on the flawless. Ooh, that was close. Alright, I'm trying to focus down shades. But Smiley is not making that easy. Man, this boss does kind of suck with your starter gun. Okay. I mean, would it be any worse than the Bullet King? Uh, probably not. It's another boss I like to keep a good distance from, and really, same with the Gatling goal. Um, you know, if I'm playing as the Bullet, maybe I'll get in his face to get the melee swings with, with Blasphemy, but that's more about Blasphemy's defensive capabilities of just being able to smash bullets as they come into you. Alright, this fight's just about done. Just need to get through this guy's health bar. Ooh, he almost got me there. Alright, still got my blanks to look for a secret room. So not, you know, not the worst thing ever. And this fight will be done any second now. Any second now, there we go. Hmm. Okay, I actually like the Brick Breaker. Um, secret room. Maybe in here. I'm gonna say probably not in here. Okay. I'll go ahead and check this one. Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, so I still don't have keys, so I'm gonna open that. Ooh, Mega Hand is pretty nice, too. Okay. That's a good start. Uh, yeah, I'll take the key, and we'll just run down to the oubliette. Mega Hand will definitely be my room clearer for this upcoming floor. And then probably Brick Breaker for boss killing. That's kind of how I see this going right now. Mega Hand, you know, it's fine for fighting bosses, but I'm not a huge fan of charge weapons on boss fights. Just because, you know, having to... Uh, having to dodge can mess up the charge on it, and I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of... I, I would rather be able to put out constant damage than the staggered damage of a charged gun. That's basically it. Okay, it just makes me feel better on the inside. Alright, reload. And totally missed the first guy that I come across. Alright, what do we got going on here? Kill the sniper. The blob is not a huge threat. I'd much rather aim at this bat and miss horribly. There had to have been another enemy somewhere in here that was... Whoops. Uh, that maybe got taken out by the Mega Hand, like, back along this wall. Because what the hell was the, the aim assist aiming at right there? I have no idea. Uh, the backpack is kind of funny with the pilot, because then you can carry three items. A little unnecessary, but sometimes kind of helpful. Hold on, I just want these two right now. Oh, that's not at all- oh my goodness. What is happening? What is happening? Oh, I only had one, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I've been taking some silly damage on this floor. Oh, this room's not too bad, though. Easy. Easy, he says. Um, I'm gonna leave that for right now. 
Now, the, uh, the old crest needing a key is not that great for me. That pretty much means I'm going to be forced to lockpick on this floor. I think the shop only had one key for sale. Unless the game is generous and decides to drop a few for me, and that's really what I'm hoping for. Okay. And then the mushroom's down. Good. And then these guys will just get taken out with the starter pistol. Okay. Uh, boss fight. Interesting. Um... Do I want to fight the boss here, or do I want to maybe press my luck and see if I'll pick up a gun just around the floor somewhere? Because it's not super unlikely. Ooh, that wasn't a great shot. I just, like, double-tapped my trigger there. I'm hoping that this... Yeah, there we go. That the shotgun just dies to poison. Okay. And then I can switch back over to the rogue special for these guys. No problem. Just get them out of the way. Maybe dodge roll over the last one. Hey, there's a key. That's a start. Okay. Sure. Oh, way too early on that. There we go. Ooh, but some ammo is helpful. Okay, there's a gunsinger. It's the first one towards my hunt. Okay, this dude's definitely just going to die to poison. Didn't need to waste any ammo on him. There we go. Nice and easy. Of course, the game's just going to hook me up with ammo now. And that's fine. I'm not mad about it. Oh, that was nice. Okay, secret room. I'm going to check here. And up here. I don't think it's this one. It might be over here, though, on the left. Really? It could be on the shop. I don't know. Alright, let me see if maybe the boss will be kind and drop a key for me. Help me out. Just toss a bunch of turtle shells his way. I'm going to try to get them lined up. I'm just going straight across so that they hit uh, as many times as possible. Same with this. going to try to get it as vertical as possible. I'm just really hoping that this boss drops a key. I'm realizing now I should have probably lockpicked the blue one before I started this. Mistakes. Mistakes were definitely made. Alright. This fight's getting there, it's just, he's got so much health. trying to get as many of these turtle shells bouncing across as possible. Oof. Another pretty bad hit there. Something like this with snowball bullets would be really nice. Or maybe uh, hungry bullets to just eat up the, the enemy bullets that it crosses paths with. That'd be nice. Oh well. Not a rainbow run, so who knows if I'll ever see those items. <laughs> Okay, Blobby Lord is down. And Baby Blobby Lord is popped. What do we got? Two keys and trash cannon. I am way more excited about the keys. Um, so that means I can pop this one open. Okay, that's not great. Um, I'm gonna lockpick this one, hope for the best. Hey, that's actually not terrible. Really not in here. Okay. Um, and then I can open this and grab that. Very nice. And I've got blanks to check around the. Sh okay, check around for a secret room. Um, and it's really not over on this side. It's really not. I guess maybe on the elevator. Uh, no, not seeing it. Okay, my guess is that it's somewhere in this gap, which leads me to believe that it's off of this room. Just kind of looking at the map now. I'm just going to walk in here and pop a blank, and if it's not here, it's not here. Okay. I don't know where it is then. 
Uh, I know there was a key for sale. How much is it? Like, oh, I'm the pilot, so I get a discount. Twenty six. All right, I need. Yeah, I'll, I'll be able to get forty one, or should be able to on this next floor. Should be able to, I would hope. Okay. Just need to protect this old crest. Hopefully, I can manage that. Um, and actually, yeah, the shell is something that's going to be nice against this gun nut. I can just kind of launch projectiles down this path at him. There we go. It's not too scary. Oh, God. It's a lead maiden. Blank. Nope, not even messing with it. I saw the one dude run up here. Nah, not even going to play around with that. Oh, hello, drill. Hello. Hello, free chests. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, now I just need the payday items. The other two. And I will be extra set on this run. Alright, where's the spider at? Okay, so it's probably in my best interest to not drill any chests before I drop off the old crest. Just, you know, that makes sense, right? I've got three keys anyways. I can open this one. We got the Cruller Glaive, which is an interesting little gun. Charge it up and it, like, flies around and shit. Hold on, where is that? Here we go. Charge it up and then it, like, spins around a little bit. Yeah. Uh, definitely not going to be using that for right now. Okay, we got a... Ooh, a glass shrine. Okay, I like glass shrines. They're one of my favorites. Okay, and then they're dead. Good. Good. I've seen so many posts on the Enter the Gungeon subreddit of this room being cleared, and a chest spawning right there and just immediately getting wrecked by the roller. Oh, I feel for you guys. I feel for you. Oh, what? There was just a stray shot from somewhere. Somewhere down here, it got me. Damn. Well, there goes the old crest, and with that, the Abbey of the True Gun. Damn, I think it was that bulletkin that I had already shot, but maybe it, it managed to get its shot off? I don't know. I'm not really sure. I just saw, I saw a bullet come at me right as I got hit. Oh, boy. Whoops. And I had no time to react by the time I saw it. My eye was elsewhere and just flicked over right in time. Oh, man. Or I guess right out of time. Just in time to watch me get hit. That's, I mean, that's about it. Okay, get off me. All right, shopkeep. You know what I want. I want that, but I need three more money. Should be easily attainable. Especially since I haven't found the other chest room yet. I haven't found the boss fight yet. There's the boss fight. Oh, I need one more. Just one. Okay, that dude's gonna get a table flipped in his face, and he's dead. Uh, an extra blank, sure. I'll take that. Oh, and then here's the crest. Yep, okay. Let's drill. See what we can get. Uh, should be my passive, or maybe an active item. If it's an active, that's fine. I'll just drop the lockpicks. Whatever, no big deal. Uh, it is a passive and not a very good one, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, probably going to go to the cell creep on the fourth floor if I still have it by then. Um, oh, this is the gore gun. Okay, so what do I want to use here? Maybe the shell? I could tell by the floor, the floor texture. If it was the ammo condo, it would have been white. If it was the, the holster, it would have been concrete or something. 
Uh, but I could definitely tell that it was water, so that tells me Gorgon. Just a little, uh, <clears throat> honestly, it, it just kind of happened. I just walked up and could kind of see the floor texture. It's something you could probably do on every boss fight. Or most boss fights. Oh god, I hate this, not gonna lie. Okay, yep, she got me. <laughs> Forced me to use that blank there. Okay. Which is crazy, because I made it through this attack really far back. <clears throat> without, like, without any problems, but then... I was just in such an awkward spot for her little, like, double Uzi attack. I was dodge rolling, like, back into some other bullets already. It wasn't good. That is Ring of Mimic Friendship? Which, uh, not a huge fan of either. Okay. I need this. And that's all I can afford. So, we're just gonna move it along. Um, I still actually still need to find the secret room, don't I? Uh, yeah. Could be on the shop, I guess. I'll just pop a blank in here. Nope. And... I didn't shoot the bottom of this room, did I? It's not in here? Okay. Well, then, I don't know where it could be. Okay. Let's go. So it is nice to know that I've got a master round and a couple of items I'm okay tossing away to the cell creep. So... Yeah, that's that's a good feeling. Uh, let me bust out the Mega Hand. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna get rid of the the sunglasses. It just annoys me. I am not a fan of that item. Anything that just slows down time randomly on me, like that, ugh, I hate it. Some boss fights have explosions, and it's just terrible to deal with. It messes up my my flow. And that's important. Gotta have flow. Okay. Just keeping an eye out for some rats. Damn it, the one dude died, or uh, lived through my attack thanks to that gunsinger. And made it underground. Ooh. Free key. Probably not going to be super helpful, but you never know. Maybe I will come across uh, the key merchant, Flintlock. Or Flint, I guess is just his name. I call him Flintlock because he's a lock, and a Flintlock is a gun. I'm pretty sure that's like the pun they were going for. Okay, I'm not. I, I was gonna try to just roll over those guys. I didn't want to get sucked into the poison, you know. I don't know. It, it was. I made a choice. I, my choice was blast them with shotguns. Ooh. Okay. Nice. And uh, I lost a guanstone some, or well, I had all those guanstones. I lost that somewhere. I'm not really sure when. Let's be real; they weren't gonna last forever, anyways. Oh, I lost that when I lost the old crest. I think. I think I had those at the same time. Okay, Misfire Beast? Where's the real one? It's all the way back there. Okay. No. No, you're done. You're done, buddy. Oh, the explosions. So annoying. Alright, where's that rat room at? Yo, blow up at me. Where's that rat room? I need to save my blanks. I need to keep that in mind. Save some blanks. Save a key. Uh, that's not going to be a mimic because I've got ring of mimic friendship. Okay. I don't mind mimics. It's just, you know, a chest you don't have to unlock. That's how I look at it. And then, like, wall mimics and pedestal mimics are much more valuable now, I guess, than they were in the past. Um, just from the sake of... Ooh, I want this. Um, I'll fight some waves for this, that's no problem. Uh, due to the fact that they now drop an extra item. So, like, I don't find that at all. Mimic Tooth Necklace, to me, is one of the best items. It's basically 
free items all day. Especially now that Pedestal Mimics drop stuff. Alright, what do we got? Let me guess, Heart of Ice? Nope. Machine Fist. Not a bad gun. I don't know if it's really worth an A tier gun, but... You know, that red chest. Oh, Battle Standard is interesting. Um, I'm gonna take that. Okay, here's the rat room. Here it is. Whoops. Oh god, and it's got explosions. That's annoying. Okay, so where is my footprint? The biggest. Oh, here we go. Here's the dust cloud. Shake them cobwebs off. Alright, here's the door. Good. Good. Just need to reveal it. There it is. I needed it on the map. That's my big concern. I just want to be able to see it from the map so I know exactly where I need to go. Okay, so I know this other chest is going to be my passive. Uh, or active, whatever. Um, hopefully with... There we go. Hopefully with uh, the drill and battle standard, I'll be able to get the other payday items. That's basically my hope. I hope that those two things combined give me enough of a chance for those other items to show up. Boom! Nope, he's still not dead. There we go. I'll take the health, sure. I'll just put that to the side for later. I need that gunsinger dead. I think he died. Good. Oh, come on now. Okay, sure. That worked. Somehow I didn't get hit during all of that. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Secret room in here? No. Alright, so I got two little clown homies. I should, right? Yeah. Just looking for that third. Oh, God. The only downside to the to the drill, I guess, is that it is an active item and takes up one of those slots. Having it as the pilot, though, makes it a lot better. Because then you can still have that other slot available for whatever. You know, you want, like, an offensive... Uh, you want an offensive active item? No problem, you can grab, you know, Potion of Gun Friendship, or Double Vision, or Bracket Key, or Big Boy, you got any of those. Uh, you want a defensive one? Alright, take Potion of Lead Skin, or, I don't know, Stuffed Star, or any, you know, Ring of Ethereal Form, anything like that. Um, is this the gun that I want to use against this boss? Actually, I guess so. Oh, I blanked to get out of there. That was maybe not the right call. The shop should have blanks for sale. I'm pretty sure he does. I really hope he does. Oh, wow. Wow. I use the blank and still end up taking damage. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, at least this guy's gonna die relatively soon. Where, where are you? Stop it. Get back here. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's pretty amusing. Not gonna lie. That was, that was a lot of fun. Oh, I'm all out of ammo there. Okay. Uh, hold on. I have Brick Breaker. I'll use this before the, the shotgun shell. Okay, uh, this is not great. Sucks that I took damage on this fight at all, uh, especially after already using a blank to try to avoid taking damage, um, and then putting myself at risk of maybe not being able to go to the rat floor, but I'm pretty sure there were blanks in the shop. Oh, but will I be able to afford it? I just looked at my money situation. Oh no. Oh no. Huh. We'll see. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford a Blank. Oh my goodness. Blank Companion's Ring, but I don't have an active item that I can just pop down there. 
All right, how much is this? 1824, son of a bitch. Okay. Uh... Um, let's just see what can happen over here. Because, like, I can't just pop the trusty lockpicks, you know? Um, yeah, man, I don't know. I'm looking at everything I've got, like, I don't know what to do about this. <laughs> uh, boy. Yeah, I know, it's, like, right there. Can't any... Can't either of you guys open it? I know you can both blank. Like, come on. Come on. Help me out. Uh, that wouldn't explode anyways. Um, okay. Well, that sucks. I guess I'm not going to the rat floor. That really blows. Oh, boy. Okay, well, I can still go to the... The RNG department, I guess. <laughs> That's so disappointing. Oh, man. So, uh, just kind of thinking about it. I've not talked about hockey for a minute, and part of that is because the Golden Knights are out of the playoffs. Um, but there, that doesn't mean that other happenings aren't going on in the playoffs. Mostly, those damn pesky San Jose Sharks, um, are still at it again. Uh, I guess... They won Game 7 against the Colorado Avalanche uh, with some controversial uh, calls, I guess, by the refs. And then uh, just last night, they were playing St. Louis um, in the Western Conference Finals Game 3. And a uh, very controversial overtime goal was awarded to the Sharks. Um, so, like, I don't know, man. If... If this keeps up and they end up winning the cup, like, how how bad does that look? If the only reason they mo made it through all three rounds was due to just really bad, I guess, you know, up to the cup final anyways, um, three rounds. Uh, if they only made it through those because of iffy calls, like, that's not great. That, that looks bad on the league. Because, like, people are pissed. Look, when it happened to Vegas, everyone's like, ha-ha, whatever. You know, screw Vegas. Including some Colorado fans. Uh, and then when it happens to them, they're like, oh, yeah, this does suck. <laughs> so, I don't know. The league has already said they're going to be working on some changes on how they review some plays, but... Oh, boy. I don't know. It's... It's not good. Right now, it just doesn't look good. Um, but yeah, basically at this point, I'm just hoping anyone beats the Sharks. And it looks like... It looks like Boston is going to beat Carolina unless they come back and, like... I think they'd have to reverse sweep them at this point. Um, which is not very likely. Um, but, like, God, I don't even like Boston. <laughs> I just... there There are players on the Boston Bruins that I don't like as personalities, I guess. Um, and it's not that they're bad at their jobs, it's just, you know, maybe I don't like some of the stuff they do. Um, maybe I don't like their attitude on and off the ice. And I feel like that's as good a reason as any to, to like or dislike a team. Um, but, yeah, even now I'm like, man... If St. Louis can't pull it out, I hope Boston wins, I guess. <laughs> I would love for the Hurricanes to win, though, just for the simple fact that they took out Washington in the first round. And I'm still a little salty about last year's Stanley Cup Finals. Not that it's... Look, I'm way more salty about this year's uh, playoffs than I was last year's. But... Uh, I'm just, I just hope someone can take the Sharks out at this point, because it looks... It looks bad. Let them let the Sharks win, you know, a cup on the a good year, like on a good playoff run, not on some bullshit calls, you know. When the league has to apologize to teams and say, "Hey, they made the wrong call there." That's not good. That is not good. 
hey, the only reason the Sharks won there is because the wrong call was made. That's not what you want. Uh, why did I switch over to that? Machine Fist, maybe. There we go. Let's get this going. There we go. Okay, he dropped a map. Did I already have the secret room found? I did not. Oh, but there's Trork. Okay, I like Trork. I see Gunsling King over there. That's nice. That's a free item. I'll, I'll head down this way. Well, it's a free item as long as you can do the challenge. You know. Still, should not be bad. Oh, hell no. Get out of here. There we go. There we go. Ooh, another ammo drop is much appreciated. These guys should not be too bad to take care of. Okay. And then if anyone somehow survives this room... Okay, I was going to say, if anyone survives and it has the switch over to the other ammo, whatever, I was just going to switch over to a different gun. That is not at all the enemy I intended to kill with that bullet. Wow. That dude just saved his friend quite severely. Like, what? <laughs> That's nuts. Uh, Trork, I'm hoping, maybe, has double vision. That would be pretty nice. Without taking damage, we'll see. We shall see. Hopefully Mega Hand is useful here. Um, okay, or the Machine Fist, that, that'll work. If only I was the bullet in this room. Like, that's just a guaranteed win right there. Alright, is that it? Nice. Easy. Hey, there it is, loot bag. Alright, why couldn't I have gotten this a little bit earlier? So that I could take advantage of all the extra money and uh, maybe be able to afford that blank on the third floor. Okay, yeah, that's not good. Not a good start. Especially with the loot bag dropping all my cash. That hurts. Okay. And I guess I'll just drill. Like, I don't know, why not? Why not? Why waste the key? There's still a chance that key homie will show up. Oh, hello guys. I didn't even see you there. I do not want to be using this ammo for these for these enemies. Here we go. The shotgun will work. Are we done here? Nope. Oh, that's, <laughs> again, not at all what I wanted to use for those enemies. Whoops. Okay. Uh, the light gun. All right, it's fine, I guess. Uh, I guess I have to run back around this way. How am I going to get over to... Oh, I wonder if that's off Trork or off the shop. That's interesting. I'm going to come over through this path. Um, I still want Mega Hand. It is interesting, like, going from a Rainbow Run streak, I guess, to a regular streak. Or, you know, a regular run. Because um, with the Rainbow Runs, I'm so used to using, like one gun. One or two guns for the whole run. Because that's all you get. And now I'm like, oh, I've got ten guns, you know? Which one do I want to use? <laughs> you know, because you always have that option of, do you want a gun or do you want a passive? Because it's four and four on those, on those rainbow run chests. It might be four and four on all of them. I'm not really sure. Uh... Brick Breaker, I think, is actually probably not a bad call here, because the bullets are always going to come back. Like, the the turtle shells are always going to find their way back over here. Okay. Damage is going pretty well, I'd say. Ooh, I almost messed up that dodge roll. That would have been bad. Nice. Nice. Get that flawless. I need it. I need the health. Especially because I'm going to throw one away here. Oh, and Sunlight Javelin? That is actually pretty cool. I like that gun a lot. 
Uh, oh, I guess it can't be off the control of shop. Also, he's got remote bullets. Um, I don't really want that. So I'm gonna guess it's right here. Yeah, here we go. Basically just for the armor, I suppose, and, uh, that's pretty much gonna be it. The Tangler is not a bad gun, but I think that's just gonna be it for me here. That's the RC rockets? Yeah, I don't want that. I don't want Casey either. Okay, so first things first, toss in the master round. And then we're going to, let me make sure I drop the right thing here. Nope. Okay. I'm going to drop the lockpicks. He didn't take it. I'm going to drop the lockpicks. He's still not taking it. What? Will he not take lockpicks? He's just not taking it. Okay, well then, I'm going to drop the sunglasses. He's still not taking it. <laughs> Come on. Drop the sunglasses. There we go. Um, I could drop junk. I could drop a ring of mimic friendship, actually. I'd rather do that. Nice. Got tons of money now. Do I want the tangler? Nah. Tangler is a nice gun, but nah. Um, I'm not sure what gun I want to use for this boss fight. Uh, I do want to clear out the rooms, I think, with the Brick Breaker, maybe? Although it's not really acting as effective as I would have liked. So maybe the Sunlight Javelin. There we go. I mean, basically just one-shotting everything, right? Except for that guy. But man, he is grossly incandescent. Oh, nice. I'll take some ammo. Always appreciated. Well, usually. Sometimes I just have too much, you know? Which is ridiculous to think, but... Still. If When the game drops ammo, like, every other room, you don't need it, you know? And maybe not every other room, but it's been dropping a lot for me this run. Uh, the only gun I've run out of was the Machine Fist, and that was more because I was just using it a lot. I used it to clear out that whole floor, pretty much. Okay. That dude is shiny. There we go. Alright, just making my way through the floor. I'm not taking any of the side rooms that I don't need to. Not now. Look, if something comes out and I see it where it's like, hey, I found the secret of the RNG department, here's what you gotta do, then I'll probably start full clearing this floor again. But until then, I would expect to just see me sweep through here so I can get the synergy chest at the end. Or maybe it's not even a synergy chest all the time, but just get the stuff off of Aghanim. Okay. Almost done here. There we go. Oh yeah, of course, you can't, uh... Can't pick that up. Um, so what do I want to fight this boss with? That I'm not sure. Maybe the light gun? Light gun sounds not terrible. Get the ducks out there at him. And then just hope for all of my blanks to go off as planned. Um, basically just my uh, payday blank homie. That's about all I can hope for. And then if I just get lucky a little bit and don't take any damage, that would be great. That would be really great. Ah, oh, there's a blank. Well, there's a a blank. There's a damage. There's There we go. I didn't actually get hit there. That was me using a blank. Okay, good. I had to check my armor for a second there. I wasn't sure if I got clipped or not. Alright, so I dropped some cash, but I'm still sitting pretty with 226. Uh, that's a blue chest. Alright. Oh, the teapot. Hello. Um, I'm not sure... Oh, the clown mask? Okay. Um, so this is an interesting gun. Can I not drill this? Really? 
but I could lockpick it. That's interesting. Oh, flak bullets. That's real nice. I'm going to use the teapot for a minute. It's pretty good. It, uh, and I think the synergy... Oh, I'm not 100% on what the synergy is. I should... I should maybe try it out real quick. Oh yeah, and with flat bullets, even better. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, okay, so it normally just gives you an aura, but I think with that synergy it gives you and all of your followers, all of your little companions, uh, the little fire aura. Which is nice because then I can just like walk into a room. Oh, I messed that up so poor so poorly. Um, oh, excuse me. I really want that 50 piece back. <laughs> uh, you can walk into a room with that shot ready to go, and then just burn everything up in the room. It, you know, you don't have to make that happen, but if you can, it's not a bad thing to do. All right, get out of there. Yeah, teapot seems like a pretty good gun for this floor. I can make do with that. Um, how am I gonna do this? There we go. That works. I wanted the, uh, the block guy to leave me alone. That's what I was like, how am I gonna get this to happen? I wanted the block guy to leave me alone, but I also wanted to catch the everything on fire. Now, this is bad. I'm taking really bad damage here. That's not okay. Maybe it's my choice of weapon, and I need to switch it up. Go back to an old reliable, like the Mega Hand. There's no shame in that. I tried using the teapot. It didn't go so well for me. There we go. Grab some health. Gotta stay healthy. Oh man, Flak Bullets is so good. Especially just in crowded crowded rooms, which, bullet hell, you get a few of those. Now, if only I had something like homing bullets, or maybe angry bullets would also be nice. I'm just going to open it. I don't care. Winchester is whatever. It's a gun. Okay. So that means my other chest is going to be an item. I like that probably just going to open that one as well. I don't know. I don't need to pop the drill or anything crazy. Uh, let's come back up here then. And of course I'm hoping the blacksmith has something good in her shop. Because she can be real hit or miss. Also, if I could come across like a key merchant or something, that'd be nice. I would not be mad about that trade in some of these excess keys that I've accumulated. Get me like Ballot, Lament Configure them, something along those lines. I'd trade in lockpicks for Lament all day. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take Irradiated Lead. That's a no-brainer. I don't think the secret room's gonna be in here. Irradiated Lead is just a good... It's just a good passive, same for Hot Lead. I like those more than I like the uh, Frost Bullets, mostly because they actually deal damage instead of just crowd control. And extra damage over time can basically be its own form of crowd control. You know, it's going to clear enemies out for you, so why not? You can just shoot one guy and then ignore him for a second. Let the poison tick down, let the fire burn, you know, burn it. As long as the enemy's not immune, hey, whatever. Nice. That guy's dead. That guy's dead. That guy's dead. Now it's just this dude. And he's dead. Um, I guess I'll just keep ammo for the Mega Hand going. Oh, okay, it's a little bit late for this, don't you think? A little bit late for Mimic Tooth Necklace. Just a little bit. Um, but I'm definitely going to take that. And I'm definitely going to take that. 
Okay, let me find just a nice little room to pop this in. And switch back over to Mega Hand. Alright. Unfortunately, no, uh, no item on that drop, but, or no item drop on that, whatever, on that activation. Okay, cool. Now, uh, my time with Lament Configurum is limited. Ooh, that was not good. So, I want to take advantage of it. Basically, every chance I get, I want to pop it. Middle of the dragon fight, probably going to pop it. Middle of the Lich fight? Maybe not. Okay. He's dead. And now we just need to get the summoner. Yo, come here. Get wrecked. Get overkilled right in the face. Um, now that does mean that I probably want to... Oh, come on. Don't do that. Don't roll a 20 on me. Um... I probably want to avoid using... Oh, never mind. I was going to say the drill to give me time to, like, charge it up, charge up Lament Configurum, and then use it, and then go back and, you know, fight these waves. But actually, this is going to charge it up just about perfect for me. Can I... Oh. Okay, so don't do what I just did there. I have no idea what's happening. I'm just dodge rolling. I, I don't know what the hell is going on. I am like way out of bounds. I got hit. Okay. Sure. So don't do that. I probably should have figured that out by now. Um, don't pop them at configure them in a drill fight, apparently. That's like really bad. <laughs> That's like really bad. I, I was just dodge rolling and shooting randomly. That's that's all I could hope for. I got hit once. I guess that could have been worse. Uh, I have no extra health on the floor, but I think there was a heart in the shop. Yeah, she's got one. I'll take these, sure. I got a synergy with something. Was it with the balloon gun? Oh, it was. Okay, it was the Mega Hand Balloon Gun Synergy, which is, meh, not great. Alright, I'm going to use the Balloon Gun for a while. Oh my gosh, that's lovely. Uh, basically, I'm going to use this until I get hit, I think, and then that's usually my cue because all the ammo's gone. <laughs> that's usually my cue to switch over to something else. Alright, I'm going to blank because I hate that attack. Aha! I switched over right as I was about to take damage. I just knew. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> it's like I knew it in my heart that I was going to get hit there. Pop Lament again. Kill these guys off. Let my Payday buddies help out, too. Sure, I'll get them involved. Ooh, I'm taking bad damage. Okay, now I probably don't want to pop lament configure them during this phase if I could avoid it, you know? Um, what am I going to kill the heart with, though? I don't even know. Um, maybe the siren. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Okay, just take it easy. Just take it easy. Siren's not really doing that great. I thought it would be better. <laughs> okay, I lied. I'm doing it. Hey, we got the chicken flute. I like that. Got the ocarina of chickens. Oh, boy. Um, I need a better gun to, to do this with. I don't think the Winchester's it, but... I mean, actually, it did okay. Okay. Last little... Oh, thanks, guy. Uh, last little cycle here. For sure. Just gonna stand behind the chicken. <laughs> and... I don't know who got the kill shot there. Someone did. 
Okay, so... Bullet Hell's gonna be interesting. <laughs> uh, bullet Hell's gonna be fun with one and a half hearts. I might die here. But, to, to be fair, this has been kind of a goof run anyways. Okay... Let's go. Let's go. There was a lot handed to me this run. But once I got Lame Configure them, and I, I said, I'm going to do it as soon as it's available, whether that's in the Dragon Fight or not. Like, I already made that call. I made that decision, and I'm going to stick by it. Let's try the Siren again. Maybe it'll be better for my room clearing efforts. It seems to be fine, you know. Backup gun is pretty fun. Oh, hi. I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay. And then this dude up here is still alive? Yeah. Uh, sure. You got me. <laughs> you got me. I'll just, I'll go pick that up. You already know. Do I need it? No. What would I need a key for right now? I've got five on bullet health. Like, it's so unlikely I'm going to get that many chest drops. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna let them do their thing, I guess. All my little homies over there doing some work. Oh boy, I hate this room. Oh boy, do I hate this room. Man, I have to admit, I was not expecting... Uh, in the... When I was used... When I was already in that drill fight, I was not expecting Lament Configurum to have that bad of an effect on it. I did not know that's what was going to happen. I really thought it would just spawn more enemies in that room, but... No, that was... That was rough. Oh. Okay. I almost got hit a couple of times in here, but no big deal. Okay. Still got another wave to go. Alright, get the genies down. Okay. Okay, I hate this. <laughs> yep, I hate this. Just already. With all the little dudes coming at me? Nah. Nah. There's a lot of enemies in this room. This is why backup gun is, like, so good. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got hit. I'm too low to be taking damage and still pop them and configure them. <laughs> oh, I need more items off of this item. I need it to do something for me. Give me more chicken flutes, I guess. Whew. Oh, uh, I need to kill the dude in the middle. That's why. That's exactly why. And then that one's way more dangerous. Okay. Alright, I am probably going to die in this room, would be my guess. Just, uh, because I know this room very well. Oh, what? What? Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, Alright, I should have died two seconds earlier. But, uh, yeah. So that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and then come on back later when you got some more time and check out another video. But until then, be sure to have yourself a great day, and I'll see you around later. Bye.